the Joe Rogan experience. Chef Kumia and Dice doing dice offs. Oh, they're friends, right? Yeah, they're friends. I know they had a thing for a while. That's that squashed. One, that was one of the best feuds. That's a good feud. Old radio, oh, radio feuds. feuds. <laughs> oh, radio feuds were great. Well, he would do radio feuds on purpose, but Dice would get into feuds on yeah. purpose. On purpose. Yeah, so much of it was like theater. People don't know he commits, all the crazy shit he did. He commits so hard. Remember when he had those comics acting out some movie that he was filming with his VHS camera? The never ending <laughs> Dice movie. That he'd edit, by the way, he'd edit by like say stop and he'd rewind and press pause right there and yes. start recording from there. Yes, yes. You couldn't go back and edit. No, you just decide he didn't where have you have software. Out. Forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Oh, stop. That guy's about to punch you. And now by you the way, be mid punch. This is after he had sold out like what? 300 stadiums? Yeah. He sold out arenas and stadiums all across the world. I mean, he was a giant superstar. He after had, that, he's recording <laughs> these fucking weird. I impromptu. He, he made us have. He made us have characters. Miles Jabani <laughs> would show up. And he goes, "You're the foreigner," and every time you show up, I'm going to give you the evil eye. I'm like, "Yeah, be the foreigner," and, and then Miles was like, mm -hmm. "He'd have to look back at him." We couldn't go on stage. We'd have to do this dice thing. He's like, "I got to go on." Like, so I'm going to put up Sony else on first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so oh. Renazisi was t Tower 2. <laughs> oh my God. Maz was the foreigner. He had me and Bobby while we were fighting. He had us. He made us come into these and like beat each other up. Oh my God. Yeah. So ridiculous. So ridiculous. We would slam each other's heads against shit. But the, in that way, he's like, his very, son he's would very choke you unique. out. Unique. Like, who who would you say Dice is like? If someone said, "What's Dice like in real life?" I'd be like, "What? Yeah, what is he what? like? Like, you don't know anybody like him. Why am I telling you? Like, you have to meet him. You or can't don't. understand it. Yeah, you can't. You don't know. He's wearing he's wearing like old Jewish lady sunglasses. Oh yeah, They're the enormous. look. Enormous. The glasses are enormous. He's giant his, sweatshirt. He gave up on dyeing his hair. It's all gray now. He yeah. slicks it yeah, back. Yeah, the glasses are like the Elvis. They, they're, they're like not rhinestones, but the thick gold yes. that goes back here to get shorter. You He's know? legit at the gym every day. So he does a lot of videos from the gym because he does work out a lot still. He has, he has a term called Look at him. In, in the cage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those fucking glasses. Oh my God, that picture is amazing. Just just diamonds everywhere. Those pictures are amazing. Look at the one above it, the upper left. That's just as That's good. That's classic dice. That's classic dice. The Elvis. Eh, me and read. Kumia. Me and Kumia and Jimmy and um, fuck, who else went with us? Somebody else I went with us. I went with you once to the to the to the dice show yeah. in Vegas. You were there too. I think I went a different time than you guys went. Oh man, we all went to the Riviera before the Riff. Riviera closed. He was up in that uh, the upstairs room, Amazing the room. large room. Yeah. yeah, dude, we had such Look a good those time. The giant sideburns. Yep. <laughs> Look at him. He's like Love him. And Wolverine. But it was such a <laughs> Italian Wolverine. I know. It's funny. He shaved the thing. Don't even down the bottom. This is my new sideburns. <laughs> Yeah, so he has all that. He's always looking for a goof. Always. Just always. Always. always he doesn't know what it will be yet, but fucking, he'll just like... Yeah. He gave somebody his phone. He gave his phone number out on radio one day. He was about to get a new phone. And so on radio, he goes, hey, my old phone number is... He didn't say old phone number. He goes, my phone number is this. And he goes, give me a call. I'll talk to you. And people would start talking to him and calling him. He said, come come to my car. Look at this. He turned it on. As soon as he turned it on, just starts ringing. Wow. People are calling him nonstop. He goes, hello? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Uh... He got this one guy where he started calling the guy back, and then he started like bothering the guy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he would call him at work, and he'd be like, "Hello." Oh. I was like, "Hey, it's just Andrew." <laughs> the guy's like, "Dice, I can't. after talking to him, his dream was to talk to Dice." And now Dice is a week later. He's like, "Dice, I'm at work right now. I really can't." He's like, so what kind of work you're doing right now? What is it? <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> just bothering, and it's like until the guy was like avoiding his call. But the, oh, the just fact for the that that would be the thing that gets his gear spinning, that that would be it. I know what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> like that that would be what he wants to do. He would, you'd either be the butt of the joke or he'd have somebody else watching him. Oh. Yeah. Classic human. And just loved him all the yeah. time. And it, it's like, even to this day. He, he's he'd do still this thing. doing it. If someone was in the back steps of the comedy store, and let's say you're a fan, but let's say you're standing straight up, and I'm two steps up. He can't see you, I don't think. You got in focus? Okay. So I'm two steps. You're standing up. I'm standing up. I'm two right. steps. I'm on a step. Okay. And you're like, oh, Dice, nice to meet you. <laughs> you do that. Hey, Dice, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> you just look up. Yeah, that's really good. I just never look down. The guy's like, I'm a big fan. He's like, oh, yeah, that's great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> And just not come down, not look down. Just like, oh, it's, it's great. Uh, it's always great to meet a fan. 
Oh, yeah. that's great. And the guy's like, that's okay, sure. I see you. And then he sits down and he just asks if, if we saw that. Jesus. God. He's crazy. Yeah, he's a legit character. He's always character. in it for the goof. He's a legit character, right? His message, I remember realizing at some point I didn't have to grow up in this business. Like, I still had th thoughts of, like, even though I'm not going to be a lawyer, like, but, like, that's still the direction I'm supposed to head, you know? Until right. you, like, rethink you have shit. to be distinguished. Yeah, or something. You have and, to change your behavior. Yeah, mature. like, it's going to happen. I'm going to become an adult. And then yes. I heard, I called Dice, and his answering machine was, Yeah, this is Andrew. Leave a message. I'm not hearing you. And I'm like, dude, that's guy in his mid 50s. Right. And I'm like, oh, maybe I don't have to grow up. Maybe I could just be like fucking whatever. Oh, that guy never changed. I don't think you have to grow up. I think people will put pressure on you because they have to grow up. Yeah, and maybe. They, they, they're like, why don't you have to grow up? Enablers. Yeah. As long as you're paying your bills, as long as you're paying your taxes, you know, as long yeah. as you're not, you know, you're not a deadbeat dad. Keep child abuse to a minimum. You said that. As so you're not you're, saying a minimum? <laughs> As, I don't understand. As I, long as you're a good person, who gives a shit if you grow up? Yeah. What is happening? What are we doing? We're, we have a finite time here. We're deciding we want people to behave in a certain way. All you want people, just don't be an asshole. doesn't matter if you grow up or not grow up. Yeah. These guys like Dice are having a great fucking time. Ever see somebody he, like- One day he's going to die. And I hope he dies in the middle of a prank. And I hope people don't realize. <laughs> that would even make him happy. Make him so he's happy. He's on stage dead and everyone just kept yeah. waiting. Well, I mean, what else? What's the option? What's option number two? Nobody's living forever, folks. It's not happening. This is as good as it gets. I will tell you, if Dice dies on stage and you're a comic in the area and you have to, at some point people start to realize, oh, fuck, this is not a prank, you know? Yeah. If you get up there and realize he's dead. Right. You should say, what? Oh, Okay. And then stand up like, it's a fucking gag. And then just mm. leave it up there for a while longer. Yeah. See how long you keep it going. He would have wanted it that way. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's nuts. <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> he's just funny. It's just a way to live. He made Norton and, 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 uh, and um, Florentine introduce him. Like they go into a Subway sandwich shop and they'd be like, ladies and gentlemen, avert your eyes. The legend is coming in. And then he would like walk in <laughs> to a style. Subway sandwich shop. That's hilarious. Yeah. That would be a great show. You have just dice on the road and someone announces him like that everywhere he goes. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> yeah. Peasants, please. The legend. Clear the floor. He banned me from his house for a year once. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Did you dose his kids? I did not dose his kids. No? <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> Mostly, I'm scared of dice. He said he had a gun in his, in his uh, desk drawer. And I was like, no, you don't. No way. You would never have him around your kids because I do. And he said he'd bet me $200. And I'm like, you know I don't have $200, so I can't make that bet. And he goes, all right, well, I do. And then he's, he's all left his thing and goes, don't look in there. And I'm like, I'm not going to look in there. He goes, don't fucking look in there. And I won't. And then Freddie Soto, fucking fuck face Freddie Soto, fuck face told Freddy him, Soto. I was just in the office, told him that I went into his drawer. He said I was rifling through his drawers. And Dice like, that's it. It's a lie. It was a lie by Freddie Soto. And Dice like, you're out. You're banned from the house. Wow, Couldn't go to barbecues year. anymore. Yeah. Wow. I was rifling Freddy. through his affairs, which never happened. Dice, well, I never <clears throat> did that. I was in the room. Why do you think Freddie did that? Well, of course, because of that reason. Because he's because they got me banned. He wanted to get you banned. Yeah. Why do, you, why do you think Freddie would want to get you banned? I think he was jealous of my upbringing and how I had a foosball table at home. And mm. it always bothered him that he didn't have that growing up in Texas. Interesting. Maybe. Interesting. I'm not sure. But the point is, I never write for those affairs. Yeah. <laughs>